A number of Idaho lawmakers are targeting a topic that they say should be taboo on television. They're talking about premarital sex. Lawmakers are against references to premarital sex in dramas, comedies, reality, and talk shows, as well as advertisements. Quote, we need to take a stand and stand up for the morality of what is best for the citizens of Idaho, said Representative Darrell Bowles, um, Republican, of course. The measure that easily passed the House State Affairs Committee would urge the federal government and the FCC to prohibit the portrayal, even implied, or even the discussion of premarital sex on TV between 6 a.m. and 10 p.m. Now, the best quote on this, in my opinion, came from Crooks and Liars. Quote, leave it to Republicans to not understand the basic concept of the First Amendment if only these Republicans felt as squeamish and horrified at the sight of ignorance, poverty, and violence, and expended some energy trying to alleviate them in real life, instead of just pretending something doesn't exist. End quote. Here, here, I couldn't agree more. And think about this. There, it, now, it was a largely symbolic piece of legislation, but they are urging the FCC and the federal government to take action to try to limit... Um, references to premarital sex during the day on TV, right? So they're serious about it. It's not like they're making it up, right? Now, we read this story right after the story we just covered about the war in Afghanistan, which we're going to be there after 2014 now, right? So lawmakers in Idaho, they're so concerned about decency and morality and we need to be good people and you can't have sexual references. You know, it amazes me that this is really what they go, this is their, the well that they go to. This is unbelievable that they talk about premarital sex. You, you don't find the 200,000 people that died in the war in Iraq, which was an unnecessary war, that's not egregious? That's not something that you would want to pass some symbolic legislation about? That's not something that consumes your mind about what's immoral and unjust and not right? The war, the war in Iraq or Afghanistan or the ridiculous amount of money we're spending on this stuff with the tremendous casualties and the, and the hole in our treasury, in our budget. You don't care about that. You don't talk about that at all, at all. But you want to talk about uh, that somebody might mention boobies on TV. And it, uh, the children, what about the children? Oh, God, God damn it. What about the children whose father got killed uh, because your ass sent them to a war that didn't need to be sent to? Yeah, I said that. What about it? Now you got nothing to say about that, nothing at all. Well, um, I'm I can't stand these these guys anymore, man. I I couldn't from the beginning, but it's getting to a point where they need to invent a new word beyond disgust, because their priorities are just comical. They're 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 shells of human beings. They're walking caricatures of themselves. Do you not know what the fucking First Amendment is, you dumb fuck? You have the right to freedom of speech, freedom of expression. And furthermore, what, kids are never going to figure out how to have sex anyway when they get older? And what, you think because they hear a vague reference that probably will go over their head anyway on a daytime comedy? That that's going to all of a sudden they're going to run out and blow some dude behind a dumpster. God, they're so dumb, man, I can't take it. All right, I got I to gotta calm down, man. I'm losing, I'm losing my temper here. But it's this symbolic nonsense. It's so easy. It's so easy to say, I'm a good person, so I'm against pornography and stuff like that. Meanwhile, later in the same day, what are these, these morons going to do? They're going to go home and go to work on, on, on UJIS or Pornhub. And, and, and while, all the while, they shake their finger at you and say, you know, we need to regulate this stuff. Except for me. Le leave my stuff alone because I, I love breaking out the, the lotion and having fun myself. 